Hello everyone, you are watching Dragon Guard 2 and I'm your host, the Monastical One. Now today, the Ancient Tomb is crumbling. Escape at once, so we are doing the Ancient Tomb interior. We're in fact escaping right after pretty much <clears throat> knowing like not near the story, and so you just gotta go ahead and backtrack out of this way. So you just wanna go ahead and follow the uh, red arrow just down here, and then just continue flying through this long tube. As soon as you're able to actually get able to speed things up and then just keep on flying, probably just go ahead and go into something else here and just keep on going. Down, down, as far as you can go. You probably don't need to worry too much about that red arrow. It's just going to show you these little cannons here that are flying, hanging around. They, you just want to try and avoid their shots and take them out for some very nice experience. Because this one here is about the best mission here to do to get Lakeman leveled up because each of these cannons here yield over a thousand EXP if you have that glory orb on. But they do hurt quite a bit, so probably a good idea to have some vitality crystals on hand just in case you do get shot. And just continue taking care of these web walls. And try to avoid not flying into them and just go ahead and continue onward. Got another wet wall to get rid of, and now we're able to get out of that long tube and into the sphere room here. Basically, I'm calling it the sphere room because it's one big round room with this here. So, like, like last time when we had inside, you just want to go ahead and stop the spinning frames here by shooting them. And if you don't, and if you avoid shooting that center orb there, then. Because if you do hit that center orb, then the rings will just go ahead and start spinning again. But now that we got that going, we'll just go ahead and find that open door just right over here. Want to head in here. And now you're going to want to go ahead and turn a right here because there's in fact a little switch crystal right here that you want to shoot to open up a door just right over here. So now that we got those door open, doors open, we are now able to continue on. Got another web wall right around. To shoot, and now there's cannons galore, so you'll probably just want to try and stay as far away and listen for their shots and try and avoid them like that. But if you stay very close and not fly too very fast, then you can actually avoid their shots just like that. And now we got a whole lot more just right around this turn. Now, these ones here can in fact be a lot more tougher to dodge because you're pretty much flying right around them. And now, like, I got a level up. And, ooh, that's a pretty close cannon. But we got rid of them all, so now we'll just go ahead and head on in. And now the door is closed, and you can see a couple more crystals that we got hit, so we'll go ahead and hit them. But first, we're just going to take care of these cannons. Now that we got rid of them, we'll go ahead and open the door. So, now that we've gone ahead and done that, we'll go ahead and shoot those crystals, and now the door opens just right over here. And now we got a few more cannons. Just want to try to avoid getting shot here, because they do tend to pack quite a bunch. And you just want to go ahead and continue on. Now, as you can see, we got a few more cannons just over here that you want to take out. If you want it, you don't have to. You can pass them them alone. But I'm going to go ahead and take them out just to get some experience. There we go. Now that we got that done, we'll go ahead and follow the yellow O arrow. And there is the exit button. And if you fly out there, then you are done. But we're not quite done just yet. There is, in fact, a little more we can do in here. So let's go ahead and do it. So basically, you just want to fly over here and probably want to head down into here. Yeah, and then just head on over here. And what do we have? A door. Yeah, I just want to explore this place a little bit because there is, in fact, another special little room in here where you can, in fact, get another weapon. Yes, you can actually get a weapon in one of these flying missions. You just gotta find the right door. Maybe it's upward here a little bit. Okay, maybe it's in here. Oh yeah, you do have to go in here and just take care of all of these cannons and shoot that crystal. And that'll open up another door. And there it is. So now that another door is opened up, we'll go ahead and head on in there. So you just want to go ahead and take care of whatever cannons you want. If you want, you don't have to. I'm just going to go ahead and take them out just to get some experience here. Do a little bit of training for like them. And just got a couple more cans over here to take care of. And now they are done. So now we'll go ahead and fly on out of here since I'm able to find the exit. Okay, the crystal is right over here, so the exit's got to be right around over here. Okay, 
Okay, where is that exit? Very easy to get lost in here. There's the exit, there. And that's not even the bad room, so now we'll just want to go ahead and fly on downward over here. And there should be a door that is open just right over here, I think. Or further down. Where was this? Oh, there it is. Yep, this is the door. And this is where you want to go. I know I kind of flew a little bit confusing, so you just want to fly in here, and the door is closed, and now we are trapped. So, now you got to take care of all the cannons in here. So, they're just around here. You're just going to want to try and avoid getting shot by them. Like that. Just go ahead and do a little bit of that and fly a little fancy here. And just follow the yellow, or the, not the yellow, the red arrows to find the cannon. And take care of all the cannons. Ow. Shot me. But I'm still pretty good. Okay, got another one just over there. Is that all of them? Nope, there's one that's just a little overhead. And you still that one, and he shot me. But now that we have taken care of them, Legna has discovered a rod. So now we, in fact, have us another weapon, and it is a rod. And with that, the door is opened up. Now we gotta try and find it. Oh, good, it's opened up right in front of me. It can be quite difficult to find sometimes. I remember I got lost in there. And I was really in trouble. So now we got that. We're just going to want to go ahead and fly out. Probably just a good idea to just try and backtrack a little bit here. But pretty much just follow the white arrow out. So that's what we're doing. So once you get that raw, you don't have to worry about any more enemies. We have done everything. So we can go ahead and fly on out before they actually crumble. Even though it doesn't really look like it's crumbling. And that is how you do the ancient tomb interior. Got some nice kills there, especially for some nice experience. And let's see the weapon that we have. What do we have? We have us the Monk's Red Staff. A very powerful rod with a very powerful magic attack. One that I like a lot. So, we'll go ahead and equip it. Um, as soon as I'm able to actually find it, there we are. And we'll go ahead and place in place of Yaha's Staff. And that is it, so we actually still have quite a bit of time, so I'll go ahead and do the final expedition. Go ahead and save right here. Yeah, I still need a lot of money here still. Still flat broke. But now that we got that, we'll go ahead and do Red Memory. And in my opinion, the toughest expedition around. So, we're pretty much as ready as we're going to be, so we'll go ahead and start this. Loading, 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 hurry up and load. We have to do this expedition. Come on. There we are, and now we have us destroy all, destroy the evil that seduces people's souls. Now, basically, what you have to start right here are a lot of suits of armor, and they're all pretty much bunched together. So, the best idea is to quickly run behind you here. And since these are ghosts, we'll go ahead and get Aerith out. I think I'll probably just use this. So, you know, just want to stay over here and try and lure these guys over one at a time. Because if you try and fight them all together, it can be pretty tough. So that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to try and lure these guys away over here one at a time so I can actually get rid of them. So there are, in fact, just another one right over there. Just want to try and get closer until I was able to liven up. And then just run away over here and wait for them to get closer. It is a bit of a long way, but effective. Are very, very effective because if you do try to fight all these guys here all at once, it can be very, very physical. Typical. <laughs> I mean, difficult. I think we're having a little bit of trouble. Oh, ouch! Like that. Sometimes they're getting lucky strikes like that because they're unable to maneuver. But now we got rid of that one. Go ahead and fight this one next. As usual, you're going to want to wait for him to get closer. At least a little bit closer and not close enough that you'll activate all the other all at once and make it completely difficult. There we go. So, just try and get a little closer there. Try and find one. Oop. Okay, I activated two at once, so now things are going to be a little tricky. But if one decides to stay back like it kind of is and just let one get closer, then you're good. One of them's actually staying pretty far back. That is good. But now 
guy's starting to get a little closer. Let's try and take this sucker out here before the other one gets over here. Okay, get rid of that bull soul. And now we can go ahead and fight this one. Just want to wait for him to get a little closer. Come on. Basically, just use the hit and run strategy. Guerrilla world, guerrilla warfare. That's what this is. Well, I'm not really quite guerrilla warfare, but hit and run. So now that we got rid of that one, we'll just try and activate another one. Uh oh! I activated all of them. Not good. Not good. Not good. Well, I'll go ahead and show you Mana's magic attack here with the Jutin Wing. Their magic should be pretty good to try and at least get rid of their shield to make them easier. So let's go ahead and use it. What is it? It thumbs up a gigantic fireball. Oh yeah. Okay, get my clock up and try and get rid of these guys. Ooh, that was lucky. I don't know why I did that because it doesn't really work. I guess just to help me survive. I'm surprised I haven't actually gotten hit. I got pretty lucky there. Okay, go ahead and take care of you. And this is, in fact, man's most powerful weapon, so very good idea to have it. Now there's only two left. So we'll just go ahead and try. Ow! I died? No! Oh no. Okay, restart.